Hello and welcome to Bite Size Tech, the companion channel to our main channel, Tech Deals. This is a first. Welcome everybody. I am recording this, no script, I'm just doing this on the fly while I'm recording another video to talk about solid state drives and their current state in the market. I'm going to try very hard not to ramble on this one because I do tend to do that. And this is a bite sized tech, not a mega sized tech. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. Every SSD box you see on the desk is empty. I have personally used every drive you see on the desk. If you take any advice from me on any subject, it should be on SSDs. These have been used for video editing, game drives, boot drives. I have upgraded drives in multiple machines over the years. I've used SATA, NVMe, MLC, TLC, QLC. All of these different drives are all, they're, they're so different in many different ways. I've been collecting these things since before we had a YouTube channel back in 2016. Now, some of these are duplicates and I've sold some of the duplicates in builds or other things that we have done, but every single unique drive you see on the desk today, I have personally used in one form or another. Now, I'm not gonna get into a huge long explanation of what all the various things mean, except for a couple of key details, but I'm gonna give you the TLDR of this before we get into it. Buy a good premium drive that is TLC NAND, SLC cache, DRAM buffer from a known name brand, Samsung, Crucial, XPG, uh, Western Digital, SanDisk. There's some others you can buy as well. Uh, Sabrent makes some pretty decent drives and there's others. But the truth of the matter is prices on all these have dropped so much. When a Crucial or a Samsung drive is within $20 of the brands that you may never have heard of, why save the 20 bucks? You're talking about 10% of the price of your drive. And this is like a key core component of your build, $200 versus $180 by the name brand. If you have a Gen 3 system right now, honestly, there's a couple of drives that you wanna consider. A Samsung 970 Evo Plus, either one or two terabyte drive, a Sabrent Rocket Gen 3 or Gen 4 drive. It's basically got a 4.0 for the Gen 4 drive. What's interesting is a lot of the 4.0 drives actually have a plus after them because there's two different versions of many of them. A good example is Crucial. Crucial makes some awesome drives. They make some budget drives. Watch out for those P1s because those are QLC drives, but the P5s are awesome. The P5 is the first generation of Gen 4 drive that Crucial made. The P5 Plus is the second refresh version. Simple example five giga gigabytes per second on the P5, 6.6 .6 gigabytes per second on the P5 Plus. As I'm recording this video, there's about a $20 price difference. 180 versus $200 between a P5 and a P5 Plus. Do you need to save $20 that badly? Maybe you do, but buy the P5 Plus and get a better drive that's been updated with newer firmware and is faster and will just be better as the years go along. Now there are other brands that you can consider as well. The Western Digital SN 750 Black for Gen 3 is very good, but beware, you have to really know what you're looking for. The Western Digital SN 750 SE is an evil Decepticon of a drive. The SE version has no DRAM buffer. The non-SE version does. All of the reviews that you have seen of a Western Digital SN 750 were the non-SE version with a DRAM buffer. And then later, all by themselves, they came out with the special edition, which costs $20 less and does not perform as well. The SN850 is their Gen 4 version of the drive, for example. Now, how do you know if a drive has a DRAM buffer? Usually because they tell you it has a DRAM buffer. Not all do, but most do. And there's no excuse at this point in time to save the 10 or 20 bucks on a one terabyte drive or the 20 or $30 on a two terabyte drive to avoid not having a DRAM buffer, which is just silly. It makes the drive have much better sustained performance when 
uh, you've got a lot of concurrent reads and writes, when you've got a lot of stuff activity going on, background updates, Windows updates running, a game launcher is running in the background, and you've got multiple programs reading and writing to the drive, the DRAM buffer is, it saves your main system uh, memory bandwidth, because without a DRAM buffer, the SSD has to use a small piece of your main system RAM to actually hold the uh, address information of where everything's located on the drive. And so that uses up some of your DDR4 or DDR5 RAM bandwidth, which is not something that they mention a whole lot. Uh, in terms of endurance, it doesn't really matter. Normal use is never gonna wear out any drive these days. I have worn drives out at this point, but that was through non-standard intentional use. You are not going to wear them out through anything normal people are gonna do. And if you're doing something that will wear any of these SSDs out, and even the cheap ones, I mean, I haven't even run these out in normal use. This was a boot drive for four years and it's got 90 plus percent of its life remaining on it. And it's an awful drive at this point. So don't worry about endurance. And frankly, as far as warranty goes for most of these, if they work for a week, they'll work forever. It's mostly performance that you wanna consider. The list is entirely too long to give you hard specifics and prices change all the time. But for my money right now, the Crucial P5 Plus and the Samsung 980 Pro or 970 Evo Plus are really worth the extra premium over some of the other drives because upgrading your boot drive sucks and good performance requires everything in your PC be good. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.